We'll be talking about body positivity, women's health. So real women are fat and thin and both and neither and otherwise. This was said by Honey Blank. One of the most important and serious conversations a woman would have with herself as she gets older would be about her body and her health. So biologically, a lot of changes happen on the inside from the onset of menstruation to menopause in between hormonal changes occur that can affect our physical, mental, and emotional states. A good number of women struggle with body image issues, and they're ill-informed on ways to cope with their special needs. But the good thing is that we have enough information in our hands today, and brave young women out there who are not ashamed of their femininity and are breaking the code of silence. Sure. They are open and honest about these issues and are willing to help other women out there with similar struggles. I'm always happy to be part of these discussions that inspire women and let them know that they can be comfortable in their own skin. Mm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot happens mm -hmm. from the time, time you start seeing your period till even after menopause. Like, mm. a lot of stuff happens where you get pregnant. And then there's so many things happening. Like, in between, you, you could have PCOS. It's something so, I'm struggling with. What in is this PCOS? Day, you want to answer that? Hmm? What is PCOS? PCOS? Okay, it's polycystic mm. ovarian syndrome. Oh. It's a situation where your ovaries are producing more male hormones than right. female hormones. And long term, it could affect your health. Right. You could get diabetic or have heart issues. So the problem is 70% of women don't know that they, they have, have it. it. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So in this um, age of cosmetic surgery and being able to modify your look, how do women begin to understand and appreciate themselves as, I mean, like you said, you can be thin, you can be fat, you mm -hmm. can be... And sometimes the condition you live with or the condition that has come to your body just by being a woman mm. determines how you look. Yeah. So how do we begin to understand that we need to love ourselves the just the way we are? The way we are. Oh, it's, it's a difficult struggle. Like for mm. me, going through PCOS, um, it used to be so easy for me to work out mm. and keep my weight. But from last year, I started having issues with dropping the weight. And I didn't know until I went to the hospital. So like you said, some people have issues inside mm. of them. But generally, whether you have your health or whatever it is, it starts from here. You mm. have to accept yourself. I have to bring it to you because you're into fashion. Yeah. Yes. And it's it can be a good tool to tackle that. Um, mm -hmm. But do you think that it is more of a positive tool to tackle that or do people now just hide behind fashion with the, with the issues that they have? Well, um, firstly, I'd say you can't buy confidence. Mm. Even if you do your body, it's not guaranteed that you'll still be confident. So it has to come from inside, like yeah. she has said. However, and funny enough, I do fashion for plus size women. So I create designs that, you know, covers insecurities, you understand. Now fat, you fat, you know, keep it safe. <laughs> so as long as it doesn't affect your health, mm. I'm just, when it comes to weight, it's all about your health. If you're healthy, just do you. If mm. you want to eat, eat. If you want to work out, work out. If you want to exercise, you know, just do you. Now we have clothes. That's why there is peplum. Hmm. You have peplum to have double peplum to cover okay. the belly. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're healthy, it's fine. It, you don't necessarily have to lose weight and you don't necessarily have to add weight. It it's just all depends on you. So like I said, I always tell my people, my sisters, everyone, you have to accept yourself for just who you are. one last question. Obviously, there's a lot that changes mm -hmm. about women. Um, and it's not just for people who are plus size or skinny mm -hmm. or tall or short. Everyone has an issue that they're dealing with. Exactly. From self-acceptance to societal so expectations. Yes. But how do, you, how do we manage, and really quickly, because time is going, how do we manage that in terms of interacting with the world? So I'm small, how do I interact with the world? I'm dark skinned, I'm chubby, I'm a mom, I have belly fat, I have, you know, all this type of stuff. What's that one thing you can advise to women for whatever issues that they're going through to deal with that societally? Interact with the world anyhow you want to interact with the world because every other person out there have their own insecurity yeah. issues. Mm -hmm. So don't, you know, just be yourself right. and appreciate yourself. That's it.
to me, you just own the space you're in. Like, everybody has their own space. Own it. I'm small. I'm going to own this small. Mm. That nobody will ever see this kind of small before. I'm plus size. I'm going to own plus size. Now me get some. I'm <laughs> yellow CC. Like, yeah. yes. <laughs> you uses it now. So, like, own your space. And people would look at you the way you want them to look at you. Perfect. Okay.